everyone and welcome to Plus Trending. My name is Bukin Uvema and on this show, I tell you what topics are trending on social media and exactly why they're trending. For more trending topics, please visit the Plus TV Africa website or check out our social media handles at Plus TV Africa on Facebook, on Twitter and also on Instagram. It is Good Friday, people, and it is trending. I'm sure at the beginning of this year, you know, some people are like, hmm, don't worry, I'll be in Lagos for Easter. Well, here we are. But guys, my guys on Twitter, they're not letting the whole news of coronavirus spoil their Easter vibe at all. At Spare Saint says, the son of God became the son of man so that the sons of men can become the sons of God. Thank you, Jesus, for your sacrifice. It is finished. My salvation is secured. Hashtag Good Friday. See? That is just amazing. So for all of you out there that are saying that Jesus did not die or rise again in 2020 because of the, you know, physical churches that are closed, well, coronavirus cannot keep Jesus down, darlings. Preach it! Amen. So now to our biggest trending topic for the day. Juliet Ibrahim is making another big appearance on in the court of social media because of you know something she said you said george i'm now abby so canadian trap artist tori lanes um, had an insta live chat you know to connect with some fans across the world juliet ibrahim joined thousands of fans on instagram for the live session but that wasn't what she did wrong okay she made some comments that put her in the court of social media first off she pointed out some things and i say these in her exact words she said if this was an African artist's life, I would be seeing account numbers all over the place. First one, oh, then next. She went on to say in another comment on the same artist's IG, um, IG live, I think it was when he did Quarantine Radio or something, which have had over 250,000 views, Juliet Ibrahim reacted to a dancer, you know, pouring liquid milk on her body saying, Chai, milk that some people need to feed in Africa. Now, I don't know what this final one is about, you get, but this part, the Ghanaian actress actually dropped her business handle during the Insta live chat. Yeah. So, these are the offenses that people are leveling against her on Twitter. How did people on Twitter react to these comments? Well, let's find out. First off is Ashiwa Jilleri, and he says, Everybody wishes to be a giver, but life is not a straight line. I am not saying Juliet Ibrahim is wrong, but the fact that you're on the brighter side of life doesn't mean you should spit on people struggling to make and meet. Next up is at click and he says, no one is dragging Juliet Ibrahim today. She is, she said what she said. And to be honest, she's absolutely right. The only difference between Twitter Bambiala and Street Beggar is mobile phone and data. <laughs> Finally, at Nettie Jesse says, she typed the truth. When did telling the truth become disrespectful, a form of insult, or is it because she typed on something that was a global platform? Her assertion on the first slide, I agree with. The second slide, I don't understand. So, fellow world people. Were Juliet Ibrahim's comments derogatory to Africans, or did she speak the truth? You decide, okay? Share your comments regarding this episode. Just send them to us on WhatsApp, or post them up on social media using the hashtag plus trending, and we will find them. Now, here are more comments and reactions from social media. And that's our show for today. Thanks for joining me on this episode of Plus Trending. Please tune in to Plus TV Africa on DSTV channel 408 or visit our social media pages and subscribe to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa for more trending topics. My name is Bookie November, reminding you to make every day count.